I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. I should return and find out about this. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. He's a good man, very honorable. I'm proud to have served under Colonel Prescott in the 11th foot Gold Coast, Africa. I was on my way here. Heard two shots I did, right at the stroke of noon. Prescott put that up in memory of the time he led a sortie across the Praw River to outflank Ashanti warriors. Things turned out badly that day. Horrific. We lost several of our comrades. Prescott wanted us to remember them. Bullet hole in the clock. <laughs> That's a new one. It could have already been there when I arrived at noon. Or maybe it was the second shot I heard. From what I can gather, Prescott was shot almost exactly at 12 o'clock noon. Apparently, they put the clock there while doing some repairs. It still runs, I notice. When Colonel Prescott retired from the army, he used his connections and started this munitions factory. He wanted the men that served with him to have work when they left the army. The young lads across the street were fooling with a pistol they'd found. A bullet must have gone astray through the wooden fence. Hit Mr. Prescott smack in the chest. Bloody unlucky for all concerned. shot the target. I went to shoot, but there was a loud bang. I was surprised and missed the target completely. It wasn't me who killed the man. I'm no murderer. We found a revolver underneath the lumberyard window. Don't know where it came from. Him and me like to insult each other. I was a lieutenant under his command in Africa. I love the army. No one questions you when you wear a uniform. Anyways, every morning when he arrived, we'd call out and joke with each other. Uh, yeah. Well, Prescott led a flanking sortie that went wrong. Lots of casualties. Some men called the colonel a coward, but it were really just bad luck. Anyway, he resigned. To make amends, he offered work at his factory whenever one of us left the army.
saw him each morning as I drove by. Seemed like a good sort. We lost an entire barrel of beer, damn it. I heard two loud bangs, but thought nothing of it. Later, I found a bullet hole in a barrel. Imagine that, a bullet hole. My lad Samuel might know more. He's around back, tossing trash in the river. The poor lad. Fell on my doorstep a few years ago. He's in a bad way, has some sort of malady. Rides in the back while I make deliveries. Hard worker, very determined. Well now, I didn't ask about this. I just drop off beer. Don't pay much attention to people along the way. There was an hole in a barrel. I've got no explanation for that. That's for some sickness I picked up a while ago. Can't remember the name of it. When Colonel Prescott retired from the army,
I should go back and ask about this. I admit it. I sell stolen rifles and pistols. All very hush-hush. Black market. I brought that gun back from Africa. I was a sniper fighting the Ashanti. I used that gun this morning for Prescott's challenge. It's the only Whitworth we have. I'd never sell it. I made that shot. Early this morning, Prescott challenged me to plug the 12 from my shot. I missed just slow. No one witnessed it. It was too early in the morning. His goddamn cowardice in Africa got me best friends killed. He should have faced a firing squad. Very good sleuthing on your part. It's a miracle anyone survived what with all those bullets whizzing about. Up to the clink with you!